Hi everyone, it's Christine from the Art Studio. This video looks at Elmer the Elephant and it's suitable for some younger children to recreate with help of an adult. Um, the inspiration for this is obviously Elmer the Colourful Elephant and I would recommend having an image of Elmer if you're able to to find one, so either a book or perhaps um, a printed image from the internet just so that you've got a reference of what she looks like to help you recreate this piece. So what you'll need for this piece is A3 paper you could use smaller so you could use A4 but I've used A3 um, you'll also need some either acrylic paint or perhaps um, poster paint for the background and some colourful tissue paper. So the tissue paper that I've used is Crayola tissue paper which I found in the pound shop so it's really good value so these um, are two different packs so I've got cool colours and warm colours um, and some glue so either PVA or a glue stick will be fine. Um, the first thing you need to do is to cut out a template um, of Elmer and set it to one side. So what I did was I drew round the image of Elmer from the book cover. Okay. Um, so like I say, if you've got if you've got a book and you can just draw round just to give you a guide, um, or perhaps if you're able to print an image of her off from the internet. Um, once you've got your your outline you can cut it out so again if this is younger children obviously they're going to need a little bit of help with this um, I've actually done this on some slightly thicker card but you could just use normal paper so once you've done that just put that to one side and the first thing you're going to do is to start to create the background so on your piece of paper just with a pencil draw out how you want the ground to be. I've put a tree behind her because I wanted the emphasis to be on the elephant so I wanted all the colours and the focus to be on the on the elephant so um, I've drawn just an outline of the tree um, it's very basic outline okay so once you're happy with what you're going to have in the background the next thing to do is to paint in the blue sky so again you can use acrylic or you could use poster paint um, and for the purposes of the video the way the camera is set up I can't get to the top of the paper very easily but what you need to do is just sweep in brush marks quite lightly try and keep the paint and your paintbrush in the same direction so when you're guiding children just have them sort of moving from backwards and forwards like that and as you go, it'll take a couple of coats, you'll see that you can see the outline of the tree coming through the paint a little bit. And that's what you want to be able to do so that you've got a guide when you come to paint the tree in. Once you've filled all the background in blue, move on and then paint the foreground. Okay, so then paint that in, your, in the green. Once it's dry, you can paint the tree in. Now, I painted mine with black acrylic but I also used this De La Rone acrylic paint marker which is really good um, because that helps to give quite a sort of precise line as you're going round. So on here, although I've used black acrylic, I've also gone round with this acrylic paint marker. So remember you can use poster paint as well. Um, so once you've done your background, so you've done the sky and the ground and the tree, just set it to one side and then you can start to um, collage on little squares of tissue paper. So they don't have to be all of the same size, just cut out lots and lots of little squares and start to stick them on. Um, I didn't have any black tissue paper. So you can see that Elmer's got a couple of black squares on her body there. So I just filled them in with 
the acrylic paint marker but you could just use a felt tip pen. Once you're happy with that and Elmer's all filled in with tissue, coloured tissue paper, the last thing to do is to do a little eye. So I just cut that out, a little circle and then I did a little black sort of outline around the circle and a black pupil. Um, the final thing is to stick her in place. She's actually got little um, sort of foam sticky back uh, kind of um, squares that, that lift her up a little bit from, from the background but of course she could be stuck flat onto your page so wherever you want her to be so I've put mine slightly to the left there. Um, and then that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you have. If you've got any comments, please add them into the comments box below. Thanks for watching.